Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Prep Texas. This is Jesse. Today I just wanted to go over a quick look over my recce rifle. I had a few people comment asking me about this scene in one of my videos. Uh, this is a fairly budgeted build. However, it's still good quality parts. Um, it's not a Daniel Defense or, or anything super fancy like that. Uh, it is a Palmetto State Armory Builders Kit. Uh, lower with their 18 inch stainless 223 wild barrel um, which makes it a little front end heavy but uh, if you're on a bipod you know that's not that's not too big of a deal I'm running the vortex strike eagle one to six and man has that been a phenomenal little scope it's just as clear as it can be and uh, the reticle inside of it lets you let you uh, gauge your distances and uh, shows you your holdovers and things like that. So it's a nice nice optic for the price. Um, like I said, you know this is a fairly budgeted build. I still think it's you know it's it's a it's a bit over a grand uh, all in, uh, maybe thirteen or fourteen. We're running. Uh, O light Odin on top. I love these lights, guys. I know a lot of people say a lot of things about O light, and oh, if you're not running a surefire, you're not tactical, or you know whatever it is. But I could buy like uh, like six of these for the the price of a surefire, and man, they're bright and reliable. They come with everything you need: pressure pad. Uh, man, they're they're solid lights. Uh, I run the mini on. On another one of my guns as well. Got the BCM vertical grip. This is the Magpul um, bipod. It's pretty nice. It's nice and light. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I, I did the paint job with uh, rattle cans and some stencils I kind of made up and uh, bought some multicam sling webbing there. That's kind of how I do all my slings. I just buy a roll of webbing and Rip them up myself, and, and they've never failed me so far, though, as long as you get good quality materials. But this is my Palmetto State build. Uh, I shoot this gun quite a lot, hunting and training and other things. But this is uh, my idea of a recce rifle. I don't necessarily uh, like the idea of having a red dot on a 45. Uh, I've had it on here with, with one of my hollow sons, and it's just something I never ended up using. Um, I can understand if you're zoomed out to six power and somebody sneaks up on you having some quick acquisition, but uh, yeah, it's just kind of a superfluous thing for me. So this is how I set my recce rifle up, guys, and it works for me. Um, it is a PSA rifle, but um, it's definitely uh, you know one and a half MOA <coughs> rifle, and uh, that's plenty for me. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Hit that like, subscribe, share button. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you guys want to see anything else, if you like man caves and other guns and survival and things like that, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, IFACs, bags, gear reviews. Uh, let me know. Thanks, guys.